Hey guys, Dad right here in the workshop with Key. We're working on the FXDX. Installing a Thunder Slide, Scream Eagle Thunder Slide kit into the uh, stock CV40 carburetor. So let's get down to it. So, all right, you guys have seen how I already had to disconnect the carburetor. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and remove the carburetor from the bike so that we can actually go do start to work on it. A couple things additional from the last video that he showed you. Uh, you're going to want to disconnect this fuel hose right here. Attaches right here. We've already done that. You've got a vacuum line right here on that little port right there, and then your two throttle cables. There's the vacuum port. Point at that vacuum port. Right there. There's the vacuum. There's the vacuum hose. Boom. The two throttle cables coming through right here. Just loosen the adjusters all the way up here. Should give you enough slack to pop them loose. That's all you need. And of course, undo the choke cable from that side like you showed in the previous video and carbs out. Carbs filthy. So before we put anything in it, and before we start disassembling it, we're going to give it a good washing. We're going to keep good take care of cleaning that thing down. Uh, once he's got that clean, we'll take it over to the workbench and we'll start actually doing the work on it. CV40 carburetor. Somewhat cleaner. Cleaner-ish. Cleaner-ish. So we're going to take the float bowl here off, and we're going to take the air spring and all out. Being very careful because these are Phillips. And if given an opportunity, which I do not have said opportunity, you want to replace these with little socket head bolts make your life a lot easier all right so we're taking the top air air hat off you're also going to have to loosen up this screw here because you're not going to you notice how the throttle bracket sits over mm -hmm. it now that's got a spring behind it so yes keep your thumb on it be very careful not to pinch the diaphragm you're going to pull that out pull the slide out pull it out spring spring that's the diaphragm pull straight up yep it's got a needle on there Oh my god, you're going clean. Yeah, that side looks like it could use some cleaning. I need some love. Yeah. But before I get to that, let's take the uh, float bowl. Float bowl off. Now, when you take the float bowl off, you're probably going to have gas turn on there, so you might want to turn it back over before you pull the float bowl off. Yeah. Any gas in there? A little no, bit? Very little. We have some garbage down the bottom. We need to clean that. Alright, so let's see what the heck we got in here now. We're at a 180. Now, the real question is though. It tells me to run a 185, so. Yeah, 185 is a hair bigger. Okay. Your slow jet. This is telling me I don't need a 195 until, unless I have cams. I need a thinner screwdriver. I can get down there and get your slow jet out so we can take a look at it. Yeah, All right, this is your slow jet down here. I think stock for you was a 45. We have a 45. All right, so you run stock. Stock slow jet and slightly bumped up. Well, it looks like what you're running there is stock. I think stock jetting was 180. Might have been 170. I'm not sure. So it calls for 175 with the Thunder Slide kit according to these instructions. It gives you 175 for a stock setup. All right, so what we'll do is we'll put the 185, and this is actually on a notch lean. But you see how worn out this is. Well, I got a whole new needle. Yeah, we're, we're not going to reuse this needle. But there's your slow jet. There's your main jet. Show them what the kit comes with. Well, because this one comes with a whole new emulsion tube and everything. All right, here's your... My God! What? Useless emulsion tube. Look at this. The emulsion tube's got, like... I don't know if you can even see this. I really need better lighting up in here. But this emulsion tube's only got, like, one freaking hole. That's a useless... Stock? I don't know if it's stock, but notice this emulsion tube is like... Ooh, let me emulsify. Now notice this one uses a wrench, probably a 7, 8 mil, I don't know, something like that, grab one. I'm going to start you out with a 185, we said. I don't want to tighten it down too much. Yeah. Take a look. Does it come with a new slow slow jet, or are you going to stick with the 45? Um, let's see, these are the main jets. you got the... They're all main jets. I don't think I came with a slow jet. Yeah, we'll stick with the 45 for now. This needle looks a lot different than the... Uh, yeah. It's got a thinner tip. Yeah. Well, it does not come with the diaphragm. They expect you to actually pop this all apart. Why did the Valkyrie just playing in my head? Dun 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 dun. Battery died. We took that opportunity to go get some of the socket heads to replace these nasty, ugly Phillips. Half Just stripped out Phillips. Yeah. So well, first we're doing you need to put the uh, Yeah, we're gonna put the emulsion tube back in after the emulsion tube, jet in did there. Did you put on did you get a close up on the camera the comparison between these two? No. New emulsion jet. 
old and nasty with like two holes. Yeah, so it's definitely gonna make a difference to how this thing uh, responds. Now, also put the main jet yeah, back in. <sighs> Sorry. All right, just step back for a second. I'm gonna go ahead and just just want to snug this up. Don't over tighten it. Don't strip it out. Take the old slow jet. It's a 45 slow jet. We're gonna pop, gonna pop this back in there. Now, before I put the float bowl back on there, I want to put the. It's very important that you go ahead and put the uh, accelerator pump rod back in if it came out. Believe me, I've done this many times where I get it all together just to take this back out and it's a hassle, so don't do that. Now at this point, we'll take everything here, set it back on. Make sure we get your accelerator jet back through here. Gonna get everything down into place. Make sure that the float bowl gasket hasn't come out or anything. Boom, look at that, nice and neat. Now we'll go ahead and put the new ones in, but these are stainless steel. This is aluminum. We're gonna put some ANCs on these. Why? Make, for, make sure there's no galvanic reaction. Oops. So at this point, we'll go ahead and tighten these guys down. We'll take, you'll notice that the slide only goes in one way. It's actually slightly offset, so it only fits one way. So what we're gonna do, did it come with new spring? Yes. Mm -hmm. New spring, new needle. Close we're gonna the reuse stuff. the old hold down. Here's our spacer, new spring. Here's the new needle. Got the clips. All right, y'all. I'm gonna read the recommendations of where it says to set it for. We're gonna ignore those. No. Yeah. Why would we ignore those? Because we don't need no stinking directions. Okay, so what are, where are we gonna set the clip at? We're gonna put, put it down in the fourth fourth groove from the top. Just those right out of your ass, button. Mm-hmm. See what it recommends. So on the E clip number six, on groove number four, I hate you. See, the fourth groove is slightly richer. Right in the center should be right around stock. We're gonna make it slightly rich as we run it. The only thing I need to know, the spacer should be on the bottom, yes? Install the new underside damage at needle five. Needle 10, spacer with stock needle retainer, and new dining jet slide spring. Does it have a, uh, give me the... Say that the spacer goes yeah, under. Right yeah, spacer goes under. See, spacer. E clipped on the spacer. So it's the spacer sits underneath here. The entire thing sits down in there. The top cup goes right over it. New spring, right over that. We'll take the whole thing, slide it into place. Make sure that you go down into the needle jet assembly correctly. Slides right in. And then we want to go ahead, take our cap. The bracket was this back one? Mm, no, I believe the bracket was this one. It's one of these two, I'm pretty sure it was this one. Well, then let's take the bracket and find out. So the bracket. Goes on this side. Goes on the wrong side completely. Yeah. So this goes on here like so, just like that with your idle right there. All right. So our longer screw will go right here. Let's get those screws out of there. Take this. Notice that there's a little spot on here for it. Set that on there. First, I'm just going to make sure that everything lines up correctly with the with the diaphragm. You don't want to pinch. Or otherwise damage the diaphragm. Do that, and you gotta go buy a whole new one. Or in this case, the owner of the bike gets to. I do know where there's another CV40 carb. <laughs> At least let me get up to a Makuni first. <laughs> All right, now what we're gonna do is very carefully feed everything into its appropriate spot, just like the so. All right, we'll take our. Pushing, put right there. I'm not going to put that one in since I had to put the throttle bracketry in there. All I'm doing is holding the top in place. These do not get torqued down and sanded to any kind of insane value. All they have to do is hold that spring down. Now, what I normally do when I go to reinstall the carb and keep this totally be your co on this since you'll be doing a reinstallation, I actually don't bother putting, I'll put my cables back into the bracket and then put the bracket back on here and actually bolt it all down. Did you see how it's just the one well, screw? Where does this idle jet, this, the, what this. You said, this idle screw, it's going to sit on that arm there? Yeah, what's going to happen is if you go to take, here, I'll just show it from the side. 
if you go to take your throttle bracket and you try to put your throttle back it back on there just straight as is mm -hmm. you see how it's in the way you got to move that down okay that's all yeah, that's so, just... so at that point we're ready to go ahead and get this guy back in just i'm going to leave this out of there until you're actually ready to bolt that down just so all you right. can't lose it let's put all these spare parts just for safekeeping oh we never drilled anything out. nope didn't Did need, need to. to nope it's already set up properly which is nice all right first thing the little rubber gasket you had there, make sure that goes right back here on the intake manifold. It's kind of got a little lip inside here. Reinstall the choke cable. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and we, we hooked the throttle cables back up over here. Thought I was recording, I wasn't. Now we're gonna hook the throttle cable back up, throttle bracket rather. Now that we have the throttle brackets all back on there, we'll go ahead and actually do the physical installation or start the physical installation because we've got uh, to put the, we have to do the vacuum cable and we have to do the fuel line and then we can push the car back in yeah let's go and get the hoses on there so we're also going to need to get the um, breather hose on too before you actually go to bolt it down let's see we're putting a brand new hose clamp on there a little pinch clamp slide that up a little bit and let that go yeah get the hose itself down on there Yep, now squeeze your pinch clamp, pull it back down. Alright. Look at that. Brand new hose clamp, no worries about a leak. Now, line this up inside there. Push it on just slightly, give yourself plenty of room to get the. Yep. Got my fuel hose in there. Alright, oh wait, I gotta hook the breather hose back. That's what I was saying. You also gotta hook the bottom of the breather hose back up too. So I actually need to pull it back down so I can put the bottom of the breather hose. Now you can get to that with with it right there. Can I? Okay. Yeah, it's right there. I need to flip the clamp around so where I can tighten it down. Yeah. Can I get to that? Yeah, look, you're gonna want to point it like down. Down. All right, so like that. Just make it easy to get to. This is the nipple. You can see right in there where that's gonna go. Just gonna push that on. Gonna hold the cord. There you go. All the way down there. Mm -hmm. I'll tighten that down a few. Just <clears throat> get the carb a light push. And, uh... So there you go. The rest of the installation is exactly the same as it was when we did the uh, choke cable on there. So you can take a look at that right up over here. We up there. Maybe, maybe down. Maybe down. Maybe down here. So you can check that video out to finish. Kind of see how the rest of this install goes. Um, yeah, we'll fire this thing up tomorrow. We'll go ahead and start actually working on uh, seeing how the jetting and all does. You heard the popping and backfiring with the uh, Python 3 since we put those on there. So we'll keep on going on it.